Hello everybody, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using stamp sets. Pretty perennials. This stamp set is retiring. I really like this. In fact, I like it so much, the next four cards I'm videoing are using this stamp. So you will get two cards for the next two weeks. Sorry about that but I've got to use it. I'm also using Forever Fern and I'm using a leaf. Um, it's this leaf here and the splatter dots and Peaceful Moments and I'm using Wishing You Every Happiness This Special Day Will Bring. Um, this is actually carrying over and so is this. This one's retiring. Cardstock, I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Yeah, scored at four and one eight, folding in half. Two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside. I also had a piece of crumb cake at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, but I cut it with a curvy die. I didn't bring it with me, sorry. But the curvy dies, I cut that. Also cut a cop a piece of this like copper, bronzy coloured paper. It's not stamping up, it's my own. But you could just use um if you want to make this that is cardstock. or even gold but that will just decorate underneath there and I'll trim the side and I've got scraps of this for go around the sentiment the leaves I've got loads of it here and the inside of the flower which we've got to cut out right we also need just to stamp that and the sentiment and I have got no scraps of white so let's see if I've got a big bit for the flower oh yeah there's a big bit for the flower and that'll do the sentiment yeah I haven't been making cards for a while and that's why I've run out of not having cut card. I've run out of, I don't know where that black's come from. Scraps, big scraps. I've been cleaning my house, ready for my escaping. And so I've got my um, release papers so I can go out to play. So I thought I'd clean my house from top to bottom, including kitchen cupboards and inside kitchen cupboards, changing curtains, everything. Good spring clean, that's what I've done. With my husband, of course. Can't do it by myself. Right. Clean that off. We're going to stamp first. We're going to stamp the flower and the sentiment. And we're stamping them in crumb cake. No, I didn't stamp that in crumb cake. I stamped that in soft suede. The flower is in crumb cake. Like that. Oh, I'll keep that out because I need that. And the sentiment. And we'll pop that there. Not very straight. It's 
still not very straight but I can cut that to make it straight all right and we want to bring this in a scrap of paper because we're going to be stamping off and with our crumb cake and our flower flower leaves we're going to stamp all over this uh, top just like this all over do nicely right. that's them done now we have to do some die cutting I'm going to just pop that up there out the way we need to die cut this flower and we also need to die cut um, the leaf and this part, this one, and this. That's all I need. So let's cut this down. and pop this on figuring out which way it goes there we are goes that way tape it down flower. Right, rubbish. Now we need a piece of this foil. For this leaf. didn't I? Never mind, well use that to cut that bit out and I'll cut another bit. There's our Spidery bit, I call it, to go on top of the flower. All right, we need a bit. Put this down the right way this time. this leaf I am going to come back so it's 
quite big. And pick all the bits out. There we are. One pretty leaf. Delicate leaf. Put all these away. And throw them to the side. And get rid of that. So now we can put our card together. So with this, I run a line of glue and joined it up with this. And then I just trim the edge off a cut the that's it. That one's alright. And then I stuck this onto the white card. I do in that then this can go on there Now I do chop off, there's my snips, keep using them big scissors, this, and that will sit on there like that, that there, and then this leaf will go under it that way. That looks quite nice. Let's stick this down. Glue around the middle and then just some tiny dots along the edge. And we'll place that on our flower. like that and that will have dimensionals on it she says right, I need to start a new set Stick these flowers down. Flowers. Leaves. And I'm just going to pop that like that. That 
there and this under there. All right, the sentiment. I'm going to glue on here like this. No, no I'm going to glue it this way. And then I'll just cut round it. I think it started to rain. Sounds like it. We had quite a nice windy but dry day today. There is my, all right, so that measures <coughs> two and a half inches by one and a quarter. The white is one and one eighth by two and three eighths. And that needs dimensionals. Too close to the edge there. to put there. Right now then, on the other one I did put some dots. I've got the little dots and I did it in soft suede. And what I did, I just got my little dots and put some between or just under the leaf like that and then I got some gems now these are a, like a brassy dark brown they look like purple actually and popped three so I popped one there One down here, and one over here, and one in the middle. on a strip we've got to break them off there you In this one, I'm just going to put my usual wishing you the most beautiful day, a wonderful day. Well, 
wishing you the most beautiful day. And I'm just going to pop that there. That middle stamp is not a Stampin' Up stamp. It just goes with everything I do. And that is my card finished. Hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.